Well, it was critical. I mean, a lot of, a lot of plays in the game uh, comes down to a few, and certainly that was, that was a big one. And we talked about the key all week was getting the drive stopped. And sometimes we got it stopped sooner, sometimes we got it stopped later. And in that ca case, it was one of those that got stopped later, but uh, in the end, it got stopped. Well, that's what it's about. These games are tight every week. You know, they played in a close one last week. Uh, we played in a close one. And, uh, you know, you got to just stay in there. You got to keep fighting, take care of the football, uh, execute a few couple critical plays. You know, I thought that there at the end, you know, just being able to, to roll out and, and find hop uh, to give us the yardage that we needed, um, you know, with the rain coming. How good to be able to do it overall. perfectly, but how good to be able to do it without turnovers today? Well, we didn't turn them over, I don't think, on the other side, so that made it nice. Um, we got to keep going for the ball. We got to get it out of the quarterback's hand. And a couple opportunities uh, in the secondary, and we have to take you know take advantage of those opportunities. What do you think of the way Ryan responded to last? Yeah, that's what that's what uh, Ryan's done. You know, one of the tougher players on our team. I know we got a bunch of tough guys, but he stood in there and got knocked out of them a couple times late, and. Uh, I respect the heck out of it and kept battling, hit some shots, and, which was great to see um, down the field. Uh, I mean, he's been really good. I mean, he's that's what he's done, and that's uh, that's what you need in this league as a guy that's reliable uh, in a critical situations. Just is it going to stop? Is it going to slow down? We got a couple downs to play with. It's like how much harder is it going to rain? You know, is this the, is it going to stop? One of those that stops in a minute, and we need to run another play, or is it just like let's put a foot on this thing? How was it for Dylan Raines to be able to come in and give you as many snaps as he did filling in at left guard? Well, it was you know, certainly a quick turnaround you know, from when he was hurt, and again, a lot of, all the credit goes to Dylan to be able to do that and get back, and you know, having worked at tackle and guard, and you know, just felt like. You know, early on, we, you know, we would put him in there and, you know, was able to, to stay alive. And I'm sure that there was uh, going to be some mistakes, but, you know, it's great to see him back out there. It's a phenomenal turnaround. Is Xavier just having trouble with the games and the blitzes? Well, I just, you know, just wanted to see what it looked like with, with Dylan. You know, we had two guys there that hadn't been working in there and, you know, give, give Dylan a shot and, you know, go from there. Well, it was, you know, we were playing some zone and it hit a couple seams on us, like what Shane did, um, you know, changed up some things and, and got on body and, and guys responded and, you know, it was just good to see um, us stay tight in coverage and challenge and, um, you know, early on it's like some of the calls and, you know, they're throwing it in front of us and, you know, just you know, making sure that, you know, we're not getting the ball thrown over our head. And then it was great to be able to challenge there in overtime. Three, three fantastic uh, plays executed well by the, by the defense. Jeff had good pressure. He slipped, you know, or that ball probably would have been out. But it was good to see really tight coverage. Well, every week is different. You guys hear me say that all, all the time. Every week is different. We were able to get stops on defense this week. We were able to double them up at halftime, you know, with the you know the, with the field goal and then scoring a touchdown and, and putting a drive together. And you could just see the difference in our efficiency uh, when it's you know instead of you know third and ten, you know we're able to function at, at a better down and distance. And you know there were times that we had gained five yards and ahead of schedule, you know silly penalty second and ten, third and ten. So you guys can see it as well as we can. Uh, when we get into drives and we're able to you know, let those plays complement each other, uh, that, that's when we can be effective and then get down in the red zone, hit a shot. Everybody you know, went on the ball from the five and, and was able to score uh, two plays later. What the Burks play do for you guys? Maybe the energy on the sideline, energy in the stadium, do you feel that? Uh, well, yes, yes. I mean, it was critical. And um, you know, we need that from trailing. You know, being able to, to run through the catch there was fantastic. Got over top, protection held up. Ryan gave him a fantastic ball, but you know, I, I, you know, I'm with you. you know, we were we were we were leaking oil, and uh, we needed somebody to, to step up and make a play, and that was a huge play. You might give uh, Derek a lot of credit for a lot of things, but you seem like he did a heck of a job tonight in pass protection too. Well, we expect a lot out of him. Um, you know, we throw him the football, we try to get it to him different ways, 
And sometimes, again, with a team that came in blitzing as much as they did and figuring that they were going to blitz, uh, the backs are going to have to you know, be, well, be good in protection. Yeah, I mean, those are things that we always try to get. And a lot of that is dictated on whether we can hold up. And, um, you know, they play some post safety and they get on you. And, you know, we, we liked – Chris had a great week of practice. Um, Traylon continued to get better throughout the week and some of the details. And so those are really cool to see when, they, when it translates into the football game. Last year had nothing to do with this year, but how good to get the win is filling back and hoping – well, it's, it's, it's important. It's important to get off to a, to a good start, you know. And again, tight games at home, you know, we, we, we needed it. We all needed it. And, uh, but we can be can able to learn from it and see when we do the things that we talk about and practice and the execution, um, what it looks like. The Henry Burks, I mean, the Henry Spears combination seemed to work out very nicely. Is that kind of how it can I mean, be? We'll have that? to continue to try to find ways to get both those guys the ball. I meant, you know, Tajay does good stuff, and Derek's always done good stuff. And, you know, we just have to continue to, to work and, and be creative and know that they both can help us uh, in different ways. Thanks, guys. Yeah, it was great to, uh, to get things going a little bit for us. Um, obviously, wanted to come back and, and play well today after, uh, after last week. So excited to, uh, to be able to do that, get back on the field. Felt great being back out there and you know, able to pull out, pull out the win at the end. So made it a lot of fun. What were you feeling like you guys get the ball back after a defensive stop and, and how you kind of make that last drive and like you put Nick in position? Yeah, it was huge. You know, we had a lot of momentum there. You know, defense came up, crowd was into it. That's what you want when you're playing at home. Crowd's into it. Defense comes up huge with a, with a three and out. Get a, a decent punt return there. I think got an extra 10 yards or so on the, uh, on the punt return. So we had a lot of uh, a momentum there, and we were able to, uh, to string some plays together, get down in a field goal range. Um, you know, started raining there for, for a second. You know, you're kind of like, oh, man. And then, you know, right as we were about to snap it, it calmed down a little bit, and uh, Nick hammered it through. So proud of our guys, the way we battled. Uh, stuck together throughout the game, through the ups and the downs. That's the way football games are, right? It's never going to be perfect. You're going to have ups and downs. And, and if you can stick together, face that adversity, and then make big plays when it comes down to it, uh, you're going to find a way to win. And that's what we did today. Those, those two big play action plays, you know, for you as a quarterback, what does that do for you when you're able to complete those long plays like that? Well, it's huge. It gets us going a little bit. You know, when you're able to hit a chunk like that, you know, you're not going to have a 15 play drive to, to score, right? You're able to, um, you know, Shorten the amount of plays it's going to take you to get in the end zone and um, build some momentum. You know, you hit a play like that, it, it opens up some underneath stuff uh, as well. So uh, it does a lot of things for you. And I'm proud of our guys, the way we, we practice. They're able to, to hit some in practice. And then those same guys were able to show up on Sunday and, and make the same play. From a confidence perspective, though, how much does that help you, you know, get into the flow and just feel good about the game? Well, I mean, it helps, right? Any, anytime you're, uh, you're having efficient plays and moving the ball downfield, Finishing drives with touchdowns, you know, you're building confidence as a unit, and um, you know those big plays definitely help do that. How good does it feel? You know, first win since last November. You know, how good does it feel, and how is the feeling in the locker room following this one? Oh, I felt great. You know, we're not thinking about last year or anything like that, um, but you know, great to to bounce back from from the start we had uh, last week and and find a way to get to one and one and. Um, Feels good to celebrate a win in the locker room. Those are the uh, the memories that that I think back, you know, over the course of my career is, is celebrating tough, hard fought games like today in the locker room with your teammates, guys that, that you go to battle with. So uh, definitely, you know, added another great memory today. First three drives, did something specifically start clicking that you guys started sustaining it a little bit more, or was it kind of just that confidence stuff that you guys were talking about? Well, we moved the drive. I don't remember exactly how the drive shook out, but I think we moved it the uh, first time we had it. Got a few first downs, you know, so it wasn't like we were. You know, just going out there and, and running back off the field. So I um, knew we were doing some good stuff, just needed to sustain drives and be able to, uh, to finish and, and put points on the board. Um, you know, able to, uh, to hit the big play downfield, which, which helped, and um, you know, got things rolling after that. Did he get to feel a little bit more comfortable whenever Dylan came into that left guard spot? Uh, proud of those guys, the way they battled. You know, X came in on short notice, uh, battled, then Dylan stepped in. Uh, kind of thrown into the fire, right? Thought we were going to ease him back into a little, bit, a little bit after uh, you know coming off the uh, the rehab and got thrown into the fire. And proud of him and the way he battled for us and came up big. Did you see anything differently, Ronnie? I, I know you talked about at length last week, but things were just a little off in that in that opener. Did you feel anything differently today, or, or you know do anything differently, or just? No, I felt great. I felt great coming into the day. I uh, was able to you know flush flush what happened last week. Um, 
by Wednesday after I talked to you guys. And then, um, you know, have a great week of practice. Got prepared and, and was ready to roll coming out here today. It's a tough week. Had you kind of been through last week after, after the opener, after so much build up going to the season? What was that like last week trying to get to today? I mean, obviously, you know, watching the tape, it, it sucks. You know, you're looking at, at the negative things and, and things you want to correct, and you're excited to, to get back out here. Um, but once, uh, once I was able to make those corrections with my teammates, with the coaches, you know, I was able to put it behind me and, and get going for the next week. You know, you got a long season. You can't harbor um, good things or bad things, right? We came up with a big one today. We'll celebrate it tonight and enjoy it tonight. And then tomorrow we'll start getting ready for the next one. I think like trailer. How much did that kind of exhilarate the whole sideline and kind of just pump everybody up to have, have some confidence? Well, it's huge. You know, it gets the crowd back into it. It gets uh, the sideline back into it, you know. Um, that, that sparked the touchdown, right? We were able to kind of pound it in there after after that play by Traylon. So um, that was huge for us, getting some momentum and, uh, you know, getting things rolling the right way. How long did you petitioning for that triple option play? Do what? Petitioning to, to run the triple option. Yeah, we ran a little bit during camp. Um, you know, wasn't sure when it was gonna, going to show up. But uh, that was awesome. It was, a, it was a great great play call. And then, um, you know, it's nice having Derek run out there and the safety just runs to him. So it made it a little bit easier for me. Um, definitely took a hit there on the uh, on the goal line. Nonetheless, came through with a very important catch for you. How important is that? Even that kind of day when he's not getting high volume targets, that he's still available. For well, he came up big in some critical situations. You know, he came up big on a third down. I was able to win on a slant backside. Um, then at the end, in the uh, basically getting, getting us deep into field goal range, there uh, came up huge. Right, he had uh, had bad leverage on the play. Was able to uh, get the guy running and then and win at the top. So, uh, and any time a guy can show up for you big like that in critical situations, it, it really helps. Harold leaned on you a lot during his recovery, having been through what he went through, seeing your teammate come up with that big of a play to force that game to OT. How cool was that for you to see that moment for him? Yeah, so fun, man. I was just uh, talking to him in the locker room. Uh, proud of him, the way he battled through. He feels like, um, I can't speak of what he feels like, but uh, you can ask him. But it was, uh, it was a lot of fun, man, seeing him make a play there uh, at the end in a critical situation. Doesn't get any bigger than that, right? We're kind of backs against the wall there on defense. Um, need a stop in order to, uh, to force it to, uh, to overtime. Harold comes up huge and, and makes a big play. So after everything he's went through, all the, uh, the ups and downs of, of rehabbing and, and how hard that is to see him go out there and make a play in that critical situation is, uh, is a lot of fun for me. And I know, uh, I know we appreciate him as a team. Yeah, I was just standing up on the sideline there. Um, you know, Nick's been so good since he came here, you know, in practice, uh, in games. Uh, so there was never a doubt that that thing was going to, uh, to get hammered through there. And uh, I don't didn't even look close to me. So uh, I don't know where it was, but I know it went through, and that's all that matters. Ryan was talking to Jeff Simmons across the hall just now, and he was talking about how great it was to get a win. And he said, I told Ryan this week he's my quarterback, that I stand with him. What's it like to know that he and your teammates have your back no matter what? Oh, it means a lot, you know. I knew, uh, I knew last week wasn't wasn't who I am as a player, and I knew I was going to bounce back this week. But it's nice to to feel that support from your teammates, you know, throughout the week. Um, wasn't a lot of big conversation or anything like that because they see, you know, how I prepare and and how I play, and so uh, I don't think there was ever a doubt that we were going to be able to bounce back. But that support, no doubt, definitely helps build that confidence coming into this week. Thank you. Yeah, very exciting. Um, finally get one in the in the win column. Uh, guys played hard. They fought hard, and I think we earned that W today. How big a moment was Traylon's completion to kind of get you guys up and running? Yeah, definitely got us going. Big momentum shift. Um, but we'll stay still made it until to that point. He made a big play for us when we really needed, and um, got us going. Um, so it's a big play for him, and um, you know, glad that you know we were able to make a big play and you know get an ends on it in. Yeah, man, defense um, did a great job, uh, you know, on that driving overtime, getting us getting us the ball back, and us being able to go down and um, put uh, put three points in in the game. And I feel like Nick did a great job getting it in there. Uh, I feel like it was a, a great overall execution on uh, both sides of the ball and um, team effort. The usage with you and Tajay seemed to work pretty well. The, Going to be a difficult thing for teams to be able to handle. Yeah, we hope so. Um, it'll be a one-two punch. It'll be a, a great tandem, and um, you know, being able to make plays and move the ball downfield whenever we're in there, whenever the ball's in our hands. So, I feel like he did a great job today as well. At what point of the option play did you realize Ryan was going to keep him going in 
I, I figure uh, Durbin will go with me and Ryan will be able to kind of fake it and um, get north to south. I feel like he did a great job with it and that's how he got in the end zone. Derek, you get a lot of accolades for running the ball, but today you had a whole lot of big blocks and pass protection in there too. How much pride do you take in that as part of your game? Yeah, just trying to do my job. Um, when the ball's not in my hands, to help in any way possible for us to get a play uh, going and uh, execution and you know just trying to help in any way possible and pass blocking on um, play pass just doing my job so how important do you think this performance was for Ryan um uh, I already knew Ryan's gonna come out and, and respond the way I knew you know he he did today so it wasn't no 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 worry in me um you know he was high energy all week and um you know he was he was ready to go to work and I knew it would show out uh show here on, on Sunday when he went out there and played when you see him standing there and take that beating and still deliver the football, like how much does that do for your respect for him as a player? Yeah, I mean, I've always had respect for Ryan. Um, you know, ever since he since he got here and um, been our starting quarterback, that's always been his mindset. That's always been how he plays, and um, you know, he's been doing it um, for for a while now. So, you know, um, he's the leader of this team, and you know, he wants to do everything he can to help us win. Well, I mean, the high injury, I mean, like, he was just this positive, um, not down at all, ready to go to work, ready to put the work in um, and um, and go out there and let it showcase on, on Sunday. You know, he worked hard, hard throughout the week, and I knew it was payoff when the wow. game came. It's been, been a while since you guys had scored, you know, that many points you did today. Mm -hmm. Confidence-building game maybe for the offense? And, and yeah, definitely. Um, you know, it felt good to get in the end zone, getting there multiple times, um, different guys getting in there um, and um, putting plays together to to lead into into points. Um, like you said, it's been a while, so definitely a lot of good things to build off of. Uh, a lot of things we can, can we can't correct, but um, at the end of the day, it's a positive getting the W and us getting in the end zone, making some plays. Derek, you've uh, had to see uh, Dylan go through all his rehab and this last year, and but he. Like Come out there today and had a big game when you guys really needed him in that spot. Yeah, yeah, it's it's incredible, man. And um, you know, for a guy to uh, have that injury and work as hard as he uh, he had to to uh, to get back to to help us. You know, credit goes all to him. Credit credit goes all to him and his determination to get back and you know the work the work he put in his and his work ethic. But uh, yeah, we glad to have him back out there out there today. And uh, I feel like he did a great job getting out there. We were looking forward to seeing your pregame outfit. What do you call that kind of tie? Oh yeah, the uh, mariachi. So, yeah, it's uh, Hispanic Heritage uh, Month, and um, you know, my daughter's half Mexican, my girl's Mexican, and you know, really close with her with her family. And um, I talk about doing it for a while now, so it was a good good time to do it right now while it's going on from the 15th to October 15th. So, you know, I just wanted to recognize the uh, Hispanic. Um, Culture and um, you know, I was glad that I was able to wear it today. So, did your daughter love the outfit? Yeah, she was happy. She was up. Anything she sees me wear, she loves. She was always energized in the morning. But you know, I feel like everybody, you know, pretty they they liked it. And it was a good response from it. So, what was kind of going through your mind? You've been sunny and pretty much clear the whole game, and then as you got to drive and score late, it was pouring down rain, and you're kicking it running out there. What was what was the conversation like on the sideline? Uh, well, we were in the game once it, we were in the drive uh, once it started raining. All I was thinking, just get this thing in the end zone, get three points, so we can get out of here before, before it gets crazy. So glad we was able to get the field goal and get the win before it really started lightning and pouring down. Any doubt you would make the kick? No doubt at all. After you know, seeing them, they seen them last week, I knew it was gonna go in. Thank you. Thank you.